I believe that there's a lot of lease purchase guys and a lot of owner operators who are leased on with carriers that have their own truck. I believe that you're leaving a lot of money on the table, so to speak, because for example, it doesn't matter whether you're leased on as an owner operator with your own truck or whether you're on a lease purchase program. These companies, these carriers will set up a maintenance fund for you. They're going to deduct so much uh, per week out of your settlement and put in there to cover maintenance, cover PMs and, and different repairs and such. And sometimes that might be, you know, two to $3,000. Sometimes it might be five thousand dollars or more it just depends on the carrier but here's something where you're leaving money on the table in a manner of speaking if you go to a ta or a petro or loves or somewhere and let's say you have a, a pm done on your truck now that's going to get billed it's going to get charged to your carrier and your carrier is going to pay that. They're going to take that money out of your escrow account to pay for it. If you crack a windshield and you go have that replaced, carrier is going to take that money out of your maintenance account and they're going to pay for it with that. Those, those invoices that's being... Uh, sent to that carrier from these companies that are doing this, whether it's your PM or whether it's your uh, having a windshield replaced, whether it's having you know, alternator replaced, whatever, new tires. Anytime that there's work being performed on your vehicle, whether you own it or whether you're doing the lease purchase, anytime that work is being performed and money is being taken out of your maintenance account, out of your escrow, to pay for it. You need to get a copy of that uh, receipt or at least a copy of the original receipt because you are the one paying for it. It's coming out of your escrow fund. So you should be writing that off on your taxes. You should be expensing that out. As it stands, in many cases, from what I've learned talking to some of you guys, is that you're not getting that. And that carrier's paying it, guarantee you, they're taking it on their taxes, even though they shouldn't, because they're paying for it with your money. And their argument's going to be, well, but you know, it's getting billed to us, yeah. And you're taking it out of my escrow account, and you're charging me an administrative fee, for the privilege of having you pay it. Get those receipts, expense that out on your taxes. If you question what I'm telling you, talk to your talk to your CPA or talk to your tax attorney, uh, whoever prepares your, your income taxes, because that's that's money that you're just letting letting pass you by and writing that off on your taxes is another another way for you to reclaim that money so be sure that anytime that's done you see it on your settlement sheet that they've taken out x amount of money and say then you contact whoever handles your settlement i need you to send me the original or a copy of the original receipt for that so that i can take it off on my taxes even if you sign and get a get a ticket, you know, at the time you have the PM done or, or whatever repair is made, odds are it's not going to be fully priced out if if it's priced out at all. Whenever you get that copy, you need what what they send to the carrier so it shows a hundred percent of what the expense is, and then you can also deduct that fee that the carrier is charging you for the privilege of having them pay for it with your money. So, you know, all of that adds up. So you guys need to keep those receipts, get a, get a copy and keep them 
and you know keep keep track of all of these expenses, including those administrative fees, so that you can write that off. Keep that in mind. You guys take care, and I'll see you down the road. Bye.